I'd have to do something to cover in the roof, which would be far too much block placing to do by hand either. But this, this looks good. Um, I can just reach him from here. Let's actually go on this side where it's a little lower. Can I still reach him? Do a little... Perfect. Okay, do a little programming. Edit log. He's got lots of wood on him now. Um, so that's the kind of wood he's targeting. Now one thing I want to do is make sure he doesn't run out. So... Um, okay, hold on. What's the... Uh, I'm just checking out the API real quick because I'm not... Get fuel level. That's it. Um, turns the, the number of blocks a turtle can move. <clears throat> okay. Get fuel level. I would have just said get fuel, but whatever. I didn't write. I didn't write the the mod. So deal with deal with the API as it is. Um, I guess I could edit the API. I do plan on uh, writing a number of APIs, which will, uh, you know, make this sort of thing easier. There's a few things I want, like, I'm probably going to write some form of API to, like, whenever you have a move command, like forward or, you know, up, whatever. Forward, up, down, that's the three of them, that's all there are. Um, I am going to write some kind of API to have custom commands that I'll use my API in which the move commands I'm thinking will just automatically refuel if the turtle is low. So that way I don't have to think about adding that to every program I write. It'll just be built into the turtle's own movement that it will just automatically keep itself fueled at which point um, really it becomes as simple as something like a furnace which just consumes fuel as needed. Which I think would be be nice. I don't have to worry about that because the movement is the only thing he even turning he doesn't need fuel for. Just moving forward, up and down. Though you, you can have him spin in circles all day, he doesn't consume anything. Um. So what I want to do for now, though, is hmm. This this editor got a little bit better in this version too. I have like delete the delete key works for for you know crib's sake. There. Um, I think, and, yeah, home and end work on the lines, which is wonderful. So, uh, so much improvement on that. So here, if fill dot get fuel level is let's say less than, or I guess I can just say if it's if he's empty. Then turtle that refuel. Oh, and it maintains your indentation too. That's wonderful, All right? Turtle dot refuel. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so that's that's good. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it at the beginning now. That's ridiculous. I could just have him auto refuel, but then I might be consuming more than I need to. So then I'll just stick. Same thing here. If actually, I should I should write that as a function, shouldn't I? Um, go back up here. Function check fuel. There we go. So then we say if turtle dot get fuel level equals zero, then Oh, that refuel. There we go. Man, that is so nice that it maintains your indentation now. That, oh. That's, that's, that's a big time saver, I gotta say. I wish, if they had a scroll bar, um, well, and, like, mouse support, so check fuel. Easy peasy. So then we just say check fuel. So then there and check fuel there now he won't get stuck in a tree anymore because pretty much when he's cut down a tree he's guaranteed to have you know gotten wood that he can use for fuel excellent all right that's that is what i would call oh it's daytime excellent excellent um i guess i gotta kill these spiders nasty things um i really 
I'd really like to face them with a little bit of cover, but I think this crafting table should be enough. Yeah, climb it. Come on. Oh, dang it. I got lag too much there. And you're stuck anyway. Great. Well, I can... Oh, I got some spider. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna need food to food something um, until I'm able to get a farm running, something I'm not actually gonna be able to uh, to do with Sidekick here. So for now, uh, turn right to, turn them around this way. Actually, never mind. Turn left. We're gonna go for the close trees. Go forward. Uh, do a quick creeper check. I mean, they were out last night, I know that. Now, one thing I could do to get a lot of wood if I moved into the jungle there, that's one really nice thing now about the auto-fueling, um, that he will go ahead and take those, you know, one whole column of the tree out. Thing is, that would be really inefficient um, for a jungle tree, so I might, uh, might write another program or modify it or something to harvest a jungle tree because... Again, it's it's his movement which consumes fuel, so I need to think about minimizing his movement, um, which probably means a lot of a lot more turning than uh, than anything. Okay, turn left, go forward, turn right, go forward. Two, excellent. This will get, uh, I won't have to do this forever. Eventually I'll get a tree farm set up, um, which I'm thinking is by far the best way to to uh, worry about fuel for these guys. Get a tree farm, they can harvest it. Um, the farming, I'm, I'm planning to have a fleet of turtles eventually here since they, they are my hands, you know. Um, so I'll be able to have, you know, farming turtles take care of taking the trees down and then... Uh, they will send most of the wood to be converted to charcoal for fuel, so we'll have plenty of fuel in that way. Um, I'm almost... Um, I might just use the excavate program here to go ahead and hollow me out some space. And I am actually... I don't usually use the excavate program because I like to write my own kind of stuff, but... It'd be quick in this case. So, I don't remember... Excavate diameter. When does he stop, though? Um. Hmm. One brief moment. I am. Uh, I need to check on this because I don't want him to dig such a too deep a hole. He'll get stuck. I don't like hearing that steps behind me. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, I will just go ahead and wing it, and I'll manually terminate his program if I need to. So, excavate. Okay, what? Uh, five by five? Like I guess I don't use this. Oh, diameter, duh. Excavate. Pardon me. That was that was thick. Looks like a good enough place as any. Um, I wonder what he will do when he gets low on fuel. So, got three spruce wood on him. I'm gonna run out of fuel soon. Three spruce wood. Uh, seems like he's really going on for with uh, for the fuel. I don't think he had that much. I mean, really. Oh, come back here. Okay. Um. Is the excavate program maybe free? I would feel bad if it is, because then I feel like I'm cheating. Oh, ow! Oh my gosh, he hit me! 
Yeah, mine 50 items, okay. That's weird. I'm gonna have to look at that program, I think, cause, anyway, we got down to the level I wanted to. I was hoping he'd, he'd get me some stone, is what I was, like, waiting for. Oh, and he found me a cave? <clears throat> Man, sidekick, you are just... Just paying off here. Okay, now... Oh, didn't quite stop in time. Oh, well, you can be my step here. Um, there we go. So... Bring my crafting bench with me. Um, yeah, that's really weird that he's still got three spruce, and he mined, I mean, he mined over 50 items. So. That's interesting. It's almost night again, so I think this is gonna be my hidey hole. Um, so, quick, what I'm gonna do... is I will... Okay, hopefully I can do this fast. <laughs> um, so we can use whatever's in... Um, use whatever... Whatever, I'll just hard code... Uh, slot one, fine, whatever. Whatever slot he has selected, I guess I'll just use. So, what we want to do is... Um, so first of all, inner loop while turtle dot detect equals false do um, turtle dot forward turtle dot oh boy, that's a bad right, what brain? Come on, brain. Uh, play, oh, place place up. That's it. Bad, bad brain. Bad. Nice up. I, I don't usually write so much in this. This is why I wanted to do this series, the Computer Craft Challenge. It's just, um, it's going to really help me. <laughs> help me with my own programming here. Okay, so that's easy inner loop. Um, outer loop. I want to say, um, I don't know exactly what to say about that one yet. So let's just continue on here. So then... He detects something, then... Uh, turn, okay, so we gotta start him with... Place up. Okay, so he put something above him. Turn... Um, okay, I'm gonna do this. Uh, turtle dot forward. Turtle dot place up. Turtle dot turn left. Oops, come on. Left. And then. Do this again. Turtle dot detect. It's probably nighttime already. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Oh, except here we go. I gotta do play. Oh no, it did a place up. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. There. Turtle dot forward. Turtle dot place up. End. And then we do, um, actually, turn left. So we turn left. If turtle... <laughs> I don't have time for this, actually. I don't have time to make this work perfectly. I just need to finish it. Um, okay, so we do that. Then... Her... Turtle dot turn right forward turtle dot turn right. This is this is not the the greatest program. This is just literally I need to finish this before I die. 
Um, okay, so we'll get those lines out of there, and then at the beginning, and I will probably end up just terminating this thing manually. Again, can pretty it up later. So, there. <laughs> Easy. Save the ceiling, exit. Um, so what he needs to do is turn right, um, and then we go, go up, okay. up two, um, I'll just manually swap that. <laughs> ceiling, it is indeed nighttime, but that would be too many blocks, I would consider that cheating to put that many blocks up. Oh, good, it's working. Now let's be ready to terminate him when he gets back over here. He's gonna get confused and wander around, I think. But... Oh, he might run out of... Oops. There we go. Now he's wandering around. Come on, terminate! Okay, what? It won't terminate the program now. Uh There we go. Okay, good. Whew. Got worried there. Um Wow, okay, I don't know what he consumed, but he has a ton of fuel. Even I even just wasted a ton there waiting for that to terminate. Okay, now I got my little hole there. I got a little hole here. Um what I need to do is this is kind of nice. He's like a spare inventory for me. <laughs> I need to upgrade some stuff. I need to get a furnace. Um, first of all, I feel like I'm likely to run into something. Um, get myself a furnace. Hey, we're, we're actually starting to play some Minecraft here. Alright. Um, I think that... What, I don't- I don't have any logs. He's got my only logs. He's got a ton of fuel, though. <laughs> um, so I can probably... Just... Take- I'm gonna take a couple of his logs. And, uh, make some torches. But, that will be... Um, I think right there, that's- should be- should be plenty. Oops, I don't... No more using that cheaty mode. If I can figure out how to, like, toggle that off, I will do so. Um, but, um, this should be plenty long for episode one. You get an idea of what the... the well, episode one and two, I'm guessing. This is actually longer than I thought. But anyway, you get an idea of what my uh, computer craft challenge is going to be here. So I really appreciate uh, anybody who's watching. You know, go ahead and give me some likes on the episode if you liked it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more episodes of this. And, uh, you know, give me comments. Give me feedback. Uh, tell me if I'm being really bad at programming here. But I uh, appreciate everyone who's watching. So thanks very much.